Hi everybody, welcome to BrickVault, my name is Mike and welcome to another Top 10 Mocks video. This is where I show the top 10 really awesome mocks from the last week I found really cool. And this week is marking a lot of sci-fi stuff, that means mechs, ships, you name it, it's all there. Also at the end I'm gonna be showing your fan creations that you guys are sending to our fan mocks email, so stick around to that. And without too much more talking, let's jump into this first mock. And we are starting off pretty simple with number 10 for this week, that is the popcorn, simply or popcorn by Dwalin Forkbird. At first look it does look like a simple popcorn box you see in many theaters but if you look closely the popcorn pieces are actual puppies from the friends line. We can joke around that it seems like a brick ring order gone wrong so he got like too many puppies pieces for some reason but at the end of the day I think this mock takes the prize for the most unique piece usage of the week. But the longer you think about it is it eating popcorn or is it eating puppies which is gross. Number 9 is the comeback of our very favorite Ian Heath. He is known for some very excellent and unique beers that were featured on the top 10 mocks for the last couple of weeks. And this time around it's a biased choice because this is Barb from Stranger Things. I may be biased here a bit because Stranger Things is definitely my favorite show of all time on Netflix right now. And Barb, but be warned there is a minor spoiler alert ahead, was a character in season 1 that disappeared in very strange circumstances. This mock represents this very iconic scene from season 1 when she was hanging out at the pool just before she disappeared. And you can almost feel the darkness and the evil lurking in the shadows. I love this scene as much as I love this mock, and I'm really glad that Ian paid a homage to this very important character in this awesome mock. Moving up, uh, number 8 is the beginning of the mech extravaganza in this episode, or just a space stuff, sci-fi stuff generally. This is the duck tank, and that is Donald Duck in his awesome mech. This one comes from designer Julius von Brunk, and the whole mock reminds me of this very small theme called Spirius from a few years back, that had this massive robot with head and arms and all those wheels on the ground. I love this set so much, when I saw this mock I immediately recognized the uh, resemblance, and the Disney character theme just gives it an extra edge. The duck tank punks a punch, you can see how much weaponry it has, and I think if only Donald the Duck had this one in the DuckTales cartoon series, his adventures would be just much more awesome. Also be sure to check out the designer's Flickr page because he also created the Mecha Mouse and the Cheshire Cat mech suit. So it's all about weaponized Disney characters, pretty awesome. Moving up to number 7 we have a Technic build, those are the Jaguar Roadsters by Martin Nab. and even though I do not often choose Technic builds for the top 10 mocks, those here are pretty awesome looking and definitely catching the vibe of this classic car line. I like the way that the chassis and the whole drivetrain are separated from each other, and again even though it's all Technic, those look pretty cool in terms of shaping. We have three versions, the black, the white and the red, those seem to be all the same design, but this is so unique seeing this car in a Technic form, that I I just had to include it in the top 10 mocks. Awesome looking builds and also maybe a hint to LEGO that they should release those cars exactly like they did with the Porsche. You may laugh at number 6 but I didn't after seeing all the details packed into this set. This is the Elven Village by 1982 Redhead and I've chosen this one because the attention to detail and the all colorfulness of the mock are simply astonishing. As much as I'm not a big fan of the Elves line I think this one pays homage to not only the Elves line from LEGO but overall the fantasy or just storytelling for kids. It's it's very enjoyable to just look at those lush green areas in the smog, the very nice river just flowing through it, and colorful houses matching the color of each elf. There is even a rock formation in the back with the waterfall, and the whole diorama just feels very mellow, very dreamy, and just takes you back to those childhood days of beautiful stories. The designer has a number of awesome pictures on the Flickr page, so make sure to check them out. Alright, with number 5 we are coming back to the mechs, this one is super unique, there is a mech called Storken made by the designer Legalized Man, and the uniqueness in this one is that this seems to be a robot that is made for clearing the bottom of the ocean. A short backstory says that it's used by the coast guard to salvage things from the bottom of the sea, and you can really appreciate the size of it compared to this microscale helicopter with the platform on top of this head. For me this looks like something that could be taken from the Pacific Rim movie, definitely would look on par with the Jagger mechs just crashing around the kaiju and maybe that is how we're gonna see the for example oil platforms in the future just being massive mechs. I also like the fact that the designer used some pieces from the Kai's fire mech from the Ninja Go movie, like this 21 tile on his leg, and overall I would love to see the whole line of these things in this exact same scale. Pretty awesome and unique so thank you for that build. 
Number four is another sci-fi thing. I'm really heavy sci-fi as I told you guys this week. This one is taken straight from War of the Worlds. There is Rad Dude and his oppressor Tyrant Tripod. Again, this immediately reminds me of Tom Cruise fighting the tripods in the War of the Worlds movie based on the book. And those in the smoke look very sinister. Especially the use of tiles with different tones of red, showing some kind of organic flesh or tissue on the, the bodies of those uh, tripods. Personally, I love every single bit of it and I wish for them to be a part of a bigger maybe earth invasion diorama on some convention of lego maybe i would love to see that in that way moving up to the top three the sci-fi week continues this is the neo version of the 6956 mtron rescue star cruiser a set that i have a special place in my heart for this is designed by alec hall and uh, the mtron line was one of the most favorite ones of mine from the space uh, theme when i was a kid i was playing with those sets a lot especially the magnetizer the massive six wheel vehicle that i had as the biggest set ever by at that time and this new version is a plus size thing with a lot of revamps and upgrades that make it look like a proper spaceship. I love this side arm with the massive magnet crate. The wings in the back remind me of the Republic gunship from Star Wars. And the whole front section with the full red color and the canopy matching is looking really really good. The Mtron emblems are all over the place as usual. And this is exactly the thing I would love to see from official LEGO sets if LEGO was ever to come back to those old classic space lines. This thing would be the first one on my purchase list. Definitely. Definitely. Number two is uh, a mock that uh, many of you have already seen in an official set, but I chose this one because the function that uh, was made to it is really amazing. That is a motorized ATM-6 made by Alternate Bricks, and ever since I saw the shots from the trailers of The Last Jedi showing those massive walkers lining up for the shot, I wanted someone to make a mock on this guy, this set being motorized as the old AT-80. And Alternate Bricks achieved that this thing looks uh, very intimidating while moving. It's a bit flimsy because it's a heavy set, but the motion is there and it looks amazing. It is controlled by a simple LEGO RC transmitter and the functions include of course walking and also utilizing the six shooter cannon on the top with remote control fire function. That is a really awesome customization and also be sure to check the link below for the full video. But number one for this week is something completely different and this mock took the spot for using a lot of special techniques and a wide variety of very old and very unique pieces. This is an American Indian figure by Nathaniel and before you say something that is all genuine Lego. That being said, we have the Chirrut Imwes face from the Build Double Star Wars minifigure. The stripes on his face are made from custom cut stickers from official Lego sets. And the soft fur pieces you see here and there are taken from very old Duplo accessories. The whole base where the minifigure stands is made using a lot of slope pieces in a very special pattern. And the whole minifigure is posing very majestic with the spear in his hand serving as a major support point. I think the cape is taken from Captain Phasma from Blue Double Minifigures with this um, red stripe. And this thing basically proves how creative you can be with uh, official LEGO pieces. I mean, just look at the head where he's wearing, using those clamp arms, the fangs, some ropes and flag pieces for the main bandana. How amazing is that? So thank you Nathaniel for proving what you can do with LEGO if you really want to achieve the look. Alright, and that is it for this week's Top 10 Mocks video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, you can always like and subscribe right below. And now it's also time to show off your fan creations that you guys are sending to our fan mocks email. Thank you so much for all the submissions. Remember to follow the rules that are listed below this video if you want to submit your mocks for next week's episode. And again, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. And now it's time to cue the music and show your mocks. I don't think she